Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and this is my very first flush tube video. Last year I developed a health issue which meant I couldn't diamond paint, but luckily I had bought two cross stitch kits from Shane and have unboxed them on a previous video. So I already had those at home so I could sit on the sofa and start a cross stitch project. Watching a lots of videos on YouTube and really catching up with what was happening in the cross stitching community because it's a long time since I cross stitched. In that video I did show my very last cross stitch that I did and finished in 2001 so I needed to have a little bit of practice and really enjoyed the kit that I chose to start on and I will show you my progress with that kit in just a moment. I really enjoyed watching so many floss tube videos during that period and it got me thinking about how I could incorporate it into the Stone Magpie channel. So my name is Suzanne and we are going to talk about plans for 2024 going forward. I'm not giving up on my diamond painting, I love it so much, but I do tend to diamond paint at a table here in my conservatory. And what I found is in winter it gets quite cold in here so it's going to be much better to have a cross stitch project on the go that I can still sit with the family, watch some telly and stitch. Um, so the videos for the flush tube I intend to have more of a monthly update rather than whip and chats and things like that. I may well do not an unboxing because it's quite difficult to see the picture on a blank canvas because I do enjoy counted cross stitch rather than the stamped kits. Never say never, I may well do one of those, but it's early days yet in my plans for my floss tube videos, but I do intend to do monthly updates and show you what I've been working on during that time. As we know cross stitch is a lot slower than diamond painting so I'm not going to be too hard on myself on the progress that I make on each kit. At the end of the year hopefully I can do a starting point from January to what I've achieved during the year. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit basically, introduce flush tube videos alongside my diamond painting videos, the unboxings and whip and chats etc. So I really do hope that you do subscribe and join me and have fun on the channel alongside with me as we always do and I do enjoy your comments so thank you everybody that comments and likes and shares my videos, it's always appreciated. So today I'm going to show you what I worked on um, so far during 2023 as I say, it was a bit put down pick up, um, but I think I got quite a lot done whilst I was recovering from a health issue. The kit that I decided to try, first of all, to get my hand back into cross stitch is this one that I bought from Shane and it is the Four Seasons kit and it is really lovely to work on. I don't have any frames at the moment. It's so long since I did a, a project on cross stitch and I think the products have moved on quite a lot from 2001. So I will be investing in a few different types of frames and I'll be able to share that with you on what I'm finding better to use um, as we go along. So the cross stitch kit that I'm working on, the Four Seasons, is a white 14 count Aida and it's not worked on any frame whatsoever and I'm so much enjoying it. All of the colours, the different motifs. So I started in the middle of the canvas on the autumn section of the cross stitch here and worked in this area and then down. In fact I started in this section here and worked across into winter and then back through. So I'm just starting here on the summer section there. So that is my progress until December 2023. Here is the back 
for those of you that are interested in seeing the back and I do finish each colour and then push it through and snip it off as I go. I don't park any colours. Not tried that ever before, but watching other people's videos, it might be something I do if I get a more complicated cross stitch to do with a lot more colours. This kit has 23 colours that were pre-threaded and it's really manageable amount here. So a lovely kit to get my hand going again and cross stitch with all of those different motifs. Now another one I'm going to start is this one I also got from Shane, which I've not opened since the unboxing, which is a grasshopper. And it's on this fabulous red Aida. And as you can see, it's a lot floppier than this one. This one's sort of you can hold up without a frame. This one is droopier. <laughs> so I will need a frame for this and it'll be interesting for me to have a go with the, um, the different frames that I have in mind to purchase. So as I say, I will let you know how I get on in my next flush tube video. I am intending to have perhaps three different cross stitches on the go at the same time and again, when I get the next one, I will show you the kit that I'm going to be focusing on for the majority of the year, but I will work on all three throughout. Now, I have seen some videos that have a lot more than three whips on the go, so we'll see how many I end up collecting and working on. However, I am also diamond painting, so I don't intend to have tens, twenties, thirties, but never say never. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today. If you're interested in seeing the progress that I make on these kits, then please do subscribe and I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, take care everyone. Bye!